you are welcome to another edition of the market opening gong where we bring you updates from the nigerian capital market this edition captures the market performance for thursday november 12th 2020. from the nigerian stock exchange the nsce asi further recorded a growth of 6.23 percent at the close of trading to maintain the positive market posture we have seen in the last trading days its year-to-date returns currently stands at 31.67 percent NSC ASI closed at both 35,000 basis points as circuit breaker triggered. The market capitalization closed at 18.46 trillion naira in 10,704 deals. The market closed with 65 gainers to 8 losers. The top gainers for equity were CI Leasing, Cadbury Nigeria, and Qtix, while the top losers were Global Spectrum Energy Services, Eternam, and Maybaker Nigeria. Zenith Bank, FBN Holdings and Access Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. The FMDQ Group debt market size declined to close at 25.70 trillion naira. The NAFEX rates declined by 0.02% to close at 385 naira 83 while the INEFX rate advanced by 0.03% to open at 386 naira 10 and declined to close at 385 naira 67 kobo to a dollar. For the NASD OTC market updates, the NSI and market capitalization appreciated by 0.86% to close at 725.56 basis points and 532.97 billion respectively. The change in volume traded declined to close at 7,202, while the value traded closed at 1.8 million in two deals executed for the day. You can also check for global, commodity, currency and other indices on the economic dashboard showing on your screen. For the market highlights, during the trading session yesterday, the Nigerian Stock Exchange announced a market-wide circuit breaker at 12.55 p.m. when the all-share index rose beyond the set threshold of 5% that triggered a 30-minute trading halt of all stocks. This was the first time that the circuit breaker had kicked in since its introduction in 2016. The market reopened at exactly 1.25 p.m. with a 10-minute intraday auction session before it resumed the continuous trading till the day closed 2.30 p.m. During the halt of trading, no order could be placed until trading resumed. However, existing orders could be withdrawn or cancelled but could not be modified. All existing orders keyed in prior to the trading halt was reactivated and were matched upon resumption of trading. For the market activity to watch today, the Nigerian Stock Exchange is hosting its 2020 market data workshop from 10 a.m., which will focus on the team handling shocks in the capital market, a quantitative risk management approach using market data. And that brings us to the end of this edition of the market opening gong. Visit www.proshareng.com to get more market updates. Do connect with us on our social media platforms showing on your screen. Until we come your way again, thank you for watching.